just got back into Nashville from Luling, Louisiana, and it is currently under a uh, tropical storm watch due to Hurricane Harvey. So if you guys could take a moment and check out the links in the description below on ways you can provide Harvey relief, that would really mean a lot to me. But I just got back into Nashville and I have a scroller box waiting for me. And this was sent to me by my good friend Kabocha on behalf of Ink Drop Cafe. Ink Drop Cafe is a webcomic community. We've got loads of great webcomics that you can read for free. So head on over to inkdropcafe.com and check those out. So I'm using a little rot uh, rotary cutter just to, just to free the tape. I have no idea what is in this box. I believe this is the last of the scrawler boxes that she sent as part of an Ink Drop Cafe promotional blitz. So this would be your chance to go check out Ink Drop Cafe. And if you're an artist looking to hang out with other artists, we have quite an active little Discord channel and you're totally welcome to come hang out with us. We'd love to have you. Um, I am in there as well. So if you like my YouTube's personality, whatever it is, Come hang out with me in Discord. All right. So we have, ooh, that's cool. We have a Derwent Precision mechanical pencil and it comes with erasers and leads. We also have a neatly wrapped package. Oh, something fell out. A Stabilo 0.88, so that's fine tip and 0.4. We have the lovely cards that we'll take a look at in a minute. Wow, okay, this is pretty cool. Ooh, oh, these are the Spectrum Noir Illustrator markers. And what's cool about this is I have a set of the warm grades that I've been putting off reviewing for this channel. So um, I got Wisteria and Old Lavender. And uh, this is as good a time as any to uh, finally get on doing that review. So that's cool. And these are alcohol markers. These are made by Spectrum Noir and they have a brush tip on them, but it's a fiber brush tip. And I have other Spectrum Noir and Spectrum Aqua marker reviews on this channel that you guys should totally check out in my alcohol, alcohol marker review section. So there's also a Derwent eraser, a ISO sketch, sketch in 3D with confidence. That's actually really cool. I, yeah, and it's designed and made in Britain. Oh, good, they show you how to do it. That's cool. A candy, a sticker, and we have our list of goodies. I'll read that in a minute. We've got this really cool ISO illustration. I'll read that in a sec. And what feels like two sheets of marker paper. So this is by Rob Turpin. Rob is an illustrator and designer from the north of England, now living and working near London. He likes to draw robots, spaceships, and imaginary places, and is currently working on his first children's book. Take some inspiration from his detailed drawings and try creating your very own imaginary palace. That's pretty cool. Instagram is, let me pull this up so you guys can see. This northern boy, Twitter is the same. Facebook is This Northern Boy Illustrates, and his blog is This Northern Boy .wordpress.com. So let's check out the Scrawler Challenge. Each month, we provide you with a selection of art supplies and inspirations, but we also want to boost your creativity. So we're giving you a challenge to be interpreted in any way you wish. See if you can create something using only the supplies in the box. Good luck, and don't forget to share your creations with us. Hashtag Scrawler Challenge. And it is Imaginary Palace. And the Derwent Precision Mechanical Pencil in point 0.5. Precision is Derwent's first mechanical pencil. It has a metal barrel designed for optimal grip and balance. It also includes a built-in eraser under the push button cap, which retracts and extends the nib. Precision has a smooth laydown of graphite suitable for fine detail and cross-hatching techniques. And what's really cool is Derwent is an English company, I believe. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Aylesbury, if I'm saying that wrong, I apologize, Bucks, and it's in England. So it's really neat that um, so many of the products that are in Scrawler Box come from the UK. The ISO sketch is made in Britain, 
and co the Spectrum Aqua Spectrum Noir markers. Uh, Crafter's Companion is a UK based company as well. And Stadler, I actually don't know off the top of my head. I did th oh, think it was German, but I could be wrong. Yeah, it says Germany. But it's still really cool that so many of their products are made in the U EU or in the UK. Isosketch. Isosketch is a simple drawing tool that makes it, makes it really easy to draw 3D shapes and fits into your pocket. Isosketch combines all of the templates and stencils needed to create perfect isometric drawings in seconds. Quickly and easily get the angle right to accurately bring your imagination palace to life. Spectrum Noir Illustrator. This marker shares the same ink and color charts as the original Spectrum Noir alcohol markers. With a new and exclusive nib combination, the fine bullet nib for smaller details and the thicker brush nib for smooth, natural fills. These markers give perfect blendable and streak-free coverage to, for, bleh, to your work. Oh, I only got one Derwin eraser, it looks like. And it says, it looks like on the card, I'm looking around to see if I dropped it. Uh, it looks like I should have gotten two. So, I don't know. I have had boxes uh, forget to include stuff sometimes, so that does happen. Uh, Stabilo Point uh, 88 Fine Liner. The famous orange hexagonal barrel holds a vibrant, well, it's black, vibrant. I would not call black vibrant, but that's, that's okay. Water-based ink specifically formulated to sustain long cap-off times. With its 0.4 millimeter felt tip, while its 0.4 millimeter felt tip provides the smooth, expressive writing of a marker, in a thin size that works for everyday sketching and outlining, Derwent shaped erasers, and that would be this one, impressively smudge free. These, yeah, I think I'm supposed to get two. Aw, scrawler box, only got one. Uh, these Derwent shaped erasers are perfect for those that prefer a different grip and are easy to hold and control. Available in two shapes, maybe not, maybe I was only supposed to get one. Two shapes and colors that give the same quality results. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna go do some research and some number crunching. I'll be back to give you guys some details and totals and for us to take a look at these really cool materials. All right, guys, I went and did a little bit of number crunching and you can find links to everything as well as my math in the description below. So the ISO sketch, which you can check out at thedrawingtoolcompany.com is 499 pounds with free delivery in the UK. You actually can't get it here in the US. So scrawler box would be your way to get it, which is kind of a shame because it's a really neat tool and you guys should go head on over to their website to check it out. But if you could get it in the US, it would be $6.75. Then for the Derwent products. So this usually comes in a two pack. And the two pack is two dollars and seventy five US. Well, it's two dollar two two point fourteen pounds, um, or two dollars and seventy five cents. But on Amazon, the two pack is six dollars and twenty three cents, which is pretty pricey. Then, so the Precision Mechanical Pencil is uh, the first mechanical pencil released by Derwent, and it is available with two lead hardnesses, HB and 2B, as well as two sizes, 0.5 and 0.7. And on the Derwent website, it is 7.99 pounds or $10.23. Um, if you get it on Amazon, the 0.5 is more expensive at $13.12. The 0.7 is less expensive at $11.99. Then with the Spectrum Noir Illustrator markers, I haven't seen these open stock. Um, I have seen them sold in Michaels. In fact, that's where I got the warm grays that I have. Um, looking around, see if I can find them. So they're not sold open stock. They're, they come in 216 colors. They are alcohol markers. They don't quite use the same color system that the um, other Spectrum Noir alcohol markers use, so having both might be confusing. Um, and the prices vary, and you can get the six pack on Amazon for $19.41 plus $7.89 shipping from the Derwent Merchant. So that would make them $2, I mean $3.24 per markers, or $6.47 for both. The Stabilo Fine Point, is, I mean, you guys have seen this. This is pretty ubiquitous. 
on the Stabilo site, it is available in 30 colors and it goes for 1.35 pounds or $1.75 USD or you guys can get it from JetPins for a dollar. So the total value of the box is about $39.74 in, um, in American and USD. Uh, the cost of Scrawler box is 15 pounds or $19.37 USD. And like I said, you guys can find links to all of that in my description. So we're going to go ahead and check out these goodies. So we've got our Derwent Precision Mechanical Pencil, 0.5 millimeters, professional quality. And you get one mechanical pencil, three erasers, and a box of HB LEDs. And the package says the Derwent Precision Mechanical Pencil have a, I'm sorry, Derwent Precision Mechanical Pencils have a premium full metal body. Perfect for maintaining grip and balance while creating fine line drawings. Features include a slim barrel with built-in eraser under the push button cap, plus retractable thin lead sleeve, available in 0.5mm, 0.7mm, and HB and 2B graphite LEDs. The Derwin Precision Mechanical Pencil is ideal for sketching and drawing. The graphite LEDs have a strong point for extended use and minimal breaking. Smooth lay down of graphite, ideal for fine drawing fine detail and cross hatching techniques. Available LEDs and erasers are available separately. And while I'm happy, I guess, that Derwent's like, yay, Derwent released a mechanical pencil, woo. Uh, from the description, it really doesn't seem like it adds anything new to the table. That hasn't been available in the mechanical pencil market for like 50 years now, so. It says it's an all metal body. It's got Derwent Precision screened on the barrel. There is no grip on it, not a knurled metal grip, not a, a rubber grip. 0.5 millimeter. It's got a clip, which is really standard for nicer mechanical pencils. It's got a ventilated cap. So if you're putting this in your mouth for whatever reason, you won't choke on it. And a teeny, teeny, tiny replaceable eraser. You remove the eraser to fill the pencil. Like so many other mechanical pencils, it has a retractable metal sleeve that protects the lead. And that's about that. There's really not a lot to this. And uh, if you're looking for good mechanical pencils, I can strongly recommend the Pentel Graph Gear. Pentel in general makes great mechanical pencils. And I've been using a Faber-Castell mechanical pencil for like two years now. And the LEDs themselves, you, let's see, you push this down, oh, and that opens it. That's kind of a cool case. Uh, but I usually use Japanese LEDs, uh, usually like Ein, or I um, also use a lot of Pilot LEDs. So I probably wouldn't be switching to the Derwent LED. We then have the Derwent Eraser. It is triangular, and it says Derwent on it, not Anything super ex exciting? I guess it's ergonomic. I don't know. It's got lots of corners. Some people really like corners for their erasing for details. I just use one of those little mono erasers. And we've got the Illustrator. Teeny tiny, teeny tiny bullet nib. Not so teeny tiny, already getting frayed fiber nib. And I'll demonstrate all this in a moment. Got two of those and they're hexagonal so they actually stack quite neatly. I'm sure they make a lovely hum honeycomb if you do it just right. We got the also hexagonal Stabilo 0.88. It has a metal sleeve around the felt tip and because this is water-based um, it should be resistant to these alcohol-based markers. And then finally we have the ISO sketch and again I strongly recommend you guys check out the website Packaging seems a little finicky. Reminds me of back to school opening protractors and compasses and stuff. Ooh. It's really kind of a difficult to open package. And on the back, they have a demonstration of how you can draw an isometric cube. And we'll use that as the demonstration because I've never used one of these, so I am wholly unfamiliar with them. I'm 
just like wrecking this package, aren't I? And I believe they also have a YouTube channel where they demonstrate how to use this. So I will include links to everything, especially that in the description. All right, so now we need to grab some scrap paper. gray cardstock, which will serve today's purpose. Seems like the theme is precision drawing. All right, so we've got that Derwent precision. It feels fine in the hand, but um, it probably, if you have um, early onset arthritis because you're an illustrator or you knit or whatever, um, it's, this pen is going to get, this pencil is going to get very tiring to use. And of course, 0.5 lead snaps pretty quickly. So I would end up putting a grip on this thing like ASAP. And then we've got their eraser. It's supposed to erase cleanly. So far, so good, yes. And we've got two Illustrator by Spectrum Noir Markers, Wisteria, which is DP1. I guess it's deep purple. And this little bullet nib has a bit of flex to it, but not really a whole lot. And then the fiber nib, which let's do, let's try to do a fine to thick line. very light pressure, heavy pressure. So what I really don't like about these, and I actually talked about this, I reviewed Peter Popper alcohol markers like in 2015, and they have a fiber nib like this too. And the problem is, there's a lot of problems with a fiber nib like that. And it's the same nib they're using in their Spectrum Aquas, but in the Spectrum Aquas, it sort of makes more sense. But in an alcohol marker, See, this one doesn't look as damaged as Wisteria. There are, and I need to do a little more research, but I think I remember the Illustrator markers are not nearly as modular as the Spectrum Noir markers, so you can't replace the nibs, and they may not be refillable either. So um, while they look a little more stylish, and they actually use, I think, the same body as the Spectrum Aquas, they're not necessarily easier to use or better to use, or better for you, or better markers. Just because they say Illustrator doesn't really mean they're for Illustrators even. And oh, if you're interested, I have a review of the Spectrum Noir G2 markers here on this channel. And an overview of Spectrum, several overviews in fact, of Spectrum Noir products, uh, uh, Crafter Companion, Crafter's Companion products. So that's the Stabilo 0.88. It is a 0.4 tip. So we're gonna do a couple lines of ink and we're gonna give it a second and I'm gonna zoom in for y'all so no smearing because they use different solvents the spectrum more illustrator markers use alcohol ink this is a water-based ink got a bottle of water here so you see and I'll zoom in in case that so it activates the water-based ink, but it doesn't mess with the alcohol-based ink at all. all. Right, finally, we've got this, and I'm just going to do the cube tutorial, which is ironic that a comic artist who uses one and two point perspective on every single page is using a isometric tool, but follow actually we already haven't fo already haven't followed the tutorial I'm bad let's start here so it says have it going up okay and then put this on top and it's got little brackets to sort of help you line it up they call them bumpers oh man I just keep snapping this pencil And we use this side and we line it up. I'm going to be off the page. Let's 
let's start all over again. Let's have a nice, clean, fresh start. And I'm actually following, like I said, the instructions on the back of the package to demonstrate how you use this. Okay, and then we line this up. So this is used in product design, and then we line this up. And this will actually always give you perfect, or near perfect, depending on how well you can line up lines, um, perfectly drawn squares, so. If you're really into Minecraft, this is great. Actually, I'm just making fun. Uh, cubes are really important. And um, they also have like, okay, that's so, this will allow me to line it up like nya. Unfortunately, um, there isn't one as big as the cube. I can show you guys a quick way to do that though. So you divide your cube up like this and that'll help you eyeball a circle in case you needed to turn this cube into a cylinder. And then, well what if we wanted to draw through our cube because and I am super cheaply Freehanding that. And with a neat tool like this, practice and following along with some of the tutorials will really help you make the most out of it. Okay, so we've got the basic cube. And then I want to draw through the cube. So we'll line that. And then what? Line this up? Looks like it. So we drew a, um, a transparent cube as well. So, um, this thing is pretty neat. Would I pay like six bucks for it, uh, six to seven dollars, like they were asking? Not necessarily, but I also have not explored its full potential, and um, it seems to have a lot to offer that you can discover by checking out their YouTube and their website. So, I will play around with this some more, and once I'm proficient with it, if I end up using it regularly, I'll do another video where I check in with you guys and I let you know what I think again. So I won't just leave you hanging. Um, so that was this month's scrawler box. It was definitely a good value. It was full of UK Proud and EU Proud products, which is awesome because scrawler box is from the UK and it's really nice to see them support those companies. And um, a lot of these are products that you wouldn't necessarily have easy access to or instant. You wouldn't see them in shops for sure in the U.S. So um, they're also bringing something interesting to the market and at a really fair price point. So this was yet another scrawler box that I enjoyed. I want to take a moment to thank Kabocha for sending this box to me. Again, you guys should head on over to inkdropcafe.com and check out our wonderful selection of web comics. We have everything ranging from like high fantasy to, well, we have a lot of fantasy now that I'm thinking about it because we have fate, we have um, an adaptation of Peter Pan in manga form and it's just gorgeous. And we have spider silk and we have Gale Bound and we have Link. So all of those are, have fantasy elements uh, and Link involves magic and sealing magic, which is really cool. And we also have um, sort of like science fiction fantasy, like Ellie of the Stars. And we have suburban fantasy um, slash slice of life with seven inch Kara. And we also have the angel with black wings, which is sort of supernatural, but also sort of funny. Um, and we just really have a lot of great stuff 
So you guys should head on over to inkdropcafe.com and check out not only our members, which are our comics, but our wonderful affiliates, and uh, maybe swing by our Discord and come say hi. So thank you guys so much for watching. For all of the links, make sure you head on over or you check out my description below. And I hope you guys have a great day. I hope to see you again really soon. Bye, guys.